Hi, today I wanted to show you three things I include as a Squarespace web designer on my client sites. So this is a client site I'm currently working on and you'll see in the pages under not linked at the bottom here I have sandbox. Now this is a page where I've used code to remove the header and footer and it includes sections that are similar to or exactly like other sections on their website. So for this sandbox for this particular client, I included a couple of fluid engine sections, a classic engine section, and an auto layout list section. And that way they can play around here and not worry about breaking anything on their live site. So this is kind of like training wheels before they dive in and make edits to the live site. So I highly recommend a sandbox page. It's great for them to gain confidence and feel like they know what they're doing before they go in and work on something that's live. Now with the sandbox page, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to go into the SEO settings and hide this page from your search results. So we don't want this showing up in search as part of their site. It's really just for them in the back end. The same thing for this help page, again, I have set it so it is hidden from search results and it is in their not linked section. So this help page has customized videos I've created for my client with things like how to add a blog post or how the accordion blocks work. And I know a lot of people have a library for their clients with these things, but I find that, you know, just taking an extra 30 minutes to an hour to create these specific to the client based on what they're actually seeing makes things so much easier for them. So I like to do customized videos per client. I also have a custom code walkthrough here that goes over the custom code and the site injection on page injections and the custom CSS. Now I do that because if I'm hit by a bus or one day I win the lottery and I run off to live in Portugal, then they can find someone else who can easily make change to the site after they see how the code is set up. So these are just, and they're also great for me. Like if I come back to this site in a year, I'm not going to remember exactly the code. So it's great for me as well. So I have um, some information about the styles we're using on the site. We did branding, so they have an entire branding kit. Otherwise, I would have put hex codes and more information about the colors here, but they have a whole brand kit. On every client site, I always say, need a little more help. Here's how to book me for an hour. And I also give them a coupon code to work with me because they're a past client. There's also a post-launch SEO checklist I give them. And then underneath all that is the custom code backup. So if anything gets wonky, then I can come back in here and fix it later or their developer can. So those are two things I love to add to client sites. Now Squarespace is just rolling out a new feature called saved sections. And I want to show you that too, because I think it's great practice for client sites as well. So if we click edit on any page and click to add a section, I'm going to show you my saved sections. You get up to 50 of these. So I'm taking 50 things that I would not want to recreate if they got messed up and putting them here. So this is a fail safe for the client and for me. And I haven't had to use this yet, but I can see that it will be really useful if we do need them in the future. Now, along those same lines, because I'm a circle member, I get a six month trial on a website. So as soon as the site's approved, I make a duplicate. So for six months, I know I have a duplicate of the site exactly as it was when it was launched. So those are some things I do to make not only my life, but my clients' lives easier. And I hope that these tips help you as well. Best of luck with your business and drop a comment if you found any of these helpful. I'd love to know.